The Queen's death has also reignited conversations about the monarchy's legacy of colonialism, making grief for some very complicated. The head of consultancies at the Sir Lenny Henry Center for Media Diversity, Marcus Ryder, joins me live now for more on this. Marcus, thank you for being here. We've seen so many tributes pouring in for the Queen, gifts left outside all of the various palaces and, and castles. But for some in this country, this is a more complicated moment than that. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Oh, it's definitely more complicated. Looking at the different nations, looking at England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales, looking at the different ethnic minorities who've got links to the colonies as well, or the former colonies, I should say. You know, we are a heterogeneous people. Britain, that's one of the things that makes Britain great. And so while it's important that we mourn the death of a head of state, we need to make sure that we understand that we're a heterogeneous country. Our population is diverse. Mm. And there are some really complicated um, feelings and emotions and political views as well, which are happening right now. And some of that is not being reflected in the coverage and how we are responding as the large national institutions are responding to this moment. It's a difficult time to have that conversation, but of course an important one as well. So how do you want to see that coverage and how do you have that conversation in a way that recognizes the moment, but also recognizes that, as you say, not everybody feels the same way about this moment? I don't think, we've all been to funerals mm -hmm. and we all know, even just family funerals, we know that even when we are mourning, we have complicated relationships. That doesn't mean that we don't go to the funeral. That doesn't mean that we don't mourn in our own way. But sometimes you will have a feeling towards auntie this or uncle that, which is not just a two-dimensional response. Now, that doesn't mean that you are any less respectful. And it's important to understand that the Queen's um, reign for 70 years, she came in at a very controversial time. She was in Kenya just as the British state was crushing the Mau Mau uprising in Kenya for independence, which is now seen as possibly crimes against humanity. You know, and so if you talk to Kenyans who are living here, if you talk to other countries um, of their nationals who are living here, it's a complicated relationship and that needs to be reflected. And it's a conversation, no doubt, that will continue to move forward in the days and months ahead. Marcus, we thank you so much for helping us be a part of that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.